Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales is directed by two French directors, I believe. I think they're French. Uh, the directors of Contiki, uh, very uh, popular foreign uh, movie from a few years ago, got like an Oscar win, I think. Um, but no, they're helming this fifth movie in the Pirates franchi uh, franchise, and in this movie, Jack Sparrow and company gotta go look for the trident of Poseidon to break uh, a cur uh, break all curses, basically in the ocean. Um, and that's the plot. I'm not gonna go too far into depth. There is uh, Captain Salazar, played by Javier Bardem, who is looking for Jack for reasons I won't disclose. But that's the movie in a nutshell. Um, so this is the fifth Pirates movie. I, you already know what I thought about the last one. The last one. The fifth, the first one. Sorry, I keep snapping my fingers. Don't know why I do that. But um, now you already know what I thought about the first one. I'm not gonna review the rest of them because I got very sick. And I did watch him again, um, but I'm just not in the mood to review him because I'm not sick anymore. But I'm just I'm getting through a slump after sickness when you get really like tired because you've uh, been sick. So yeah, I'm going through that right now. It's a whole side thing, but we'll get back to parts. Um, so this movie got crushing reviews when it came out. Uh, or when it came out, when it got released for uh, critics, when critics saw it, and that got my hopes down, because the last two movies I do not like. I don't like Red World's End, and I don't like uh, Stranger, On Stranger Tides. So, going into the, the Dead Men, excuse me, going into Dead Men Tell No Tales, I was very skeptical. Oh, I wasn't really thinking much of it. I was hoping it would be good. And to my surprise, I actually enjoyed this movie. It's not great. It's a per per it's a perfectly serviceable, uh, serviceable entry in this franchise. I think the action's very good. The set pieces are beautiful. Uh, the visual effects are very good. Um, Johnny Depp is back as Captain Jack Sparrow. He's really good in the movie still. He's really funny. There's actually... This movie is funnier than Baywatch, which I think is funny, but... Anyway. But I actually thought this movie was funnier than Baywatch. A oh, comedy, so, yeah. But no, the comedy in this movie really works. I like most of the characters. Some of them are just serviceable, and that's it. They, like, Brendan Thwaites, Brendan Thwaites, uh, he's serviceable, he's fine. Uh, Kaya Scaldiardo, Scaldiardo, I don't know, sorry, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Uh, she's hot. That's about it. She's, she's fine, but not a big fan. Um, but I did like Javier Bardem as uh, Captain Salazar. CG on him is great uh he's like a, he has like floating like face syndrome because well he was cursed in the water when he died so he's like internally forever floating in the water so it's like a cool little image but um and the quest in this movie is good i, I thought it was fun it's perfectly serviceable uh it is a fun entry in the pirates uh series i'm hoping the next one steps it up a little bit but I did enjoy the movie. It's not great. It's got a lot of problems. We'll talk about now, I guess. Uh, I will say that the villain, while I did like him, Javier Bardem, Captain Salazar, etc. Whatever. I don't know what to call him here. Uh, he's good. It's just he's not the most menacing presence ever. And while I do like the past with him in depth, I don't. I didn't feel it as much, like, I thought it was cool, but I didn't really feel that anger and that revenge he wants, I didn't feel the drive, that was one of my big problems with the movie. It also does meander in the second act, like, the second act is pretty slow, it takes some time to get going in the in the middle, it feels a little too long, you definitely feel the two hour runtime. it's only two hours though, that's the weird thing, it's like it's two hours, it's the shortest one in the franchise, but it feels like the longest, no, no, I'll set that back. I think uh, at World's End felt like way too long, and that movie was three hours. So, but uh, Stranger Tides uh, was a little, felt a little too long, but nothing too bad. This is one of the weaker uh, movies in, t in the franchise as far as pacing goes. The pacing takes a huge hit. Um, I thought uh, they tried to Cat or Captain Jack Sparrow is a little too cartoonish again. Uh, he's not quite 
the great character he was in the first movie, and I argue in the second one. The second one they go for a little more cartoonish vibe, but it's it works a little better. Um, but here he's just a little too cartoonish, even though he is funny. Johnny Depp is very good in the movie. Uh, but yeah, so that's another uh, thing I was like, eh, I'm not sure. But as a whole, as far as uh, the movie goes, I thought it was perfectly fine. I enjoyed it. I like the movie. Um, I think it's a well-directed movie. It's very pretty. The cinematography is gorgeous. Uh, yeah. So that's my review for Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Men Tell No Tales. I'm going to give it a B-. minus. Uh, it's good. It's not great, but it, it's good. Uh, and Joffrey Rush, Jeffrey Rush, as awesome as Barbosa once again. I just wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, so that's my review for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. This is definitely the movie uh, to see, like, until Wonder Woman comes out. You had that, like, little week period. Uh, any new movies coming out, like, this is the one to see. Baywatch isn't very good, and uh, War Machine isn't very good. I, I didn't review that one, but not wor not really worth your time. But this one, I actually think, is worth your time. Uh, so, yeah, that is my review for Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Don't Know Tales, so peace.